Okay, so let's have a look at setting up some watermarks. We'll move over to the library section and then to the watermarks page. And here we go. You can see this is actually one I cooked up earlier, Gallery Watermark 1. You should have on your page already an example watermark just there. And below that is a list of images that we can use to create more watermarks. So these aren't watermarks themselves, they're just assets that we can use to create more. Let's head up to the top right and hit the Add Watermark button now. So this watermark I'm going to call Digital Watermark 1. That's just my own, my own naming convention. I can control the opacity of the watermark or the transparency. I can control the width as a percentage of the full image. And I can control the position or the placement of the watermark on my images. Now down the bottom is the watermark image selection. So these are the available images we saw on the previous page. I'm going to select rights reserved and hit save. So I could now carry on creating gallery watermark 2, 3 and so on. And that would actually give me the ability to, to apply different watermarks to different galleries in my portfolio. Similarly with the digital download products, I could create more digital watermarks and apply those to different digital download products that I make available in my catalogue. More on digital products later, but for the moment just know that you've got that flexibility and lots of room to move there. Now we also want you to be able to use your own custom images in order to create your watermarks. So if we come up to the top right here and use new image, that'll launch a dialog box that lets you upload your own files. Best to use a PNG 24 with transparency for watermarking but you can also upload a GIF or a JPEG if you prefer. Simply use the Choose File button and that'll launch a regular upload dialog box so you can select your file and upload to the site. So again, that'll create a new available image and you would then go through the same add watermark process as we did previously and simply select your custom image to create your watermark. Finally, let's take a quick recap on how to apply one of these custom watermarks to a gallery. So this process is covered in a bit more detail in lesson two of the kickstart guide, creating a gallery. But if I head now to the galleries page and I'm going to select my natural beauty gallery, I'm going to hit the edit button there, that pencil icon. And down here under privacy and security, the second field here is apply watermark Dropbox and I'm going to select my gallery watermark one that I've just created. Down the bottom right is the green save button and I'm done. So now every image within that natural beauty ga gallery on the live website is going to contain my custom watermark. Great, so that's watermarking. Have a go at creating your own and then we can move forward with the next lesson. Mm -hmm.